Actually, hi, this is Paul Slack. It's Good News Broadcast. I have two chefs and five ways to bring comfort to your kitchen. All right, we have Chef G. Garvin. Hi, Chef. How are you? I'm well. How are you? All right, good. He's known for his turn up the heat with G. Uh, Garvin, uh, seventh season on TV One. Congratulations there. Thank you. And you also have One Bite at a Time Foundation. I like that. And launched a culinary boot camp for kids ages 16 to 19 with the goal of changing lives and introducing kids to a new career choices in the culinary arts. We also have Chef Helen Roberts. Hi, Chef. How are you? I am doing well. Good. You're with the Kiko Men's uh, Kitchen. And uh, you also recently were selected to participate in Michelle Obama's Chef's Move to Schools program, part of First Lady's Let's Move campaign aimed at solving the childhood obesity epidemic. Okay, so do-gooders and, uh, and good cookers. <laughs> no, we want to we wanna get rid of the childhood obesity. We give ourselves one generation to do that. All right, okay. And so thusly, I imagine what we're going to talk about today helps in that manner um, in going about that. Uh, so what, what are uh, a couple ways here that bring comfort to our kitchens? Well, we, we're bringing comfort, but we're going to give a little twist. We can do comfortable food, but we can also make it a less, less fattier type of deal. So we started off with some pork loin. Yeah, one, mm -hmm. of, the, one of the things that we got is uh, we got this really great pork loin, and we got this kikaman ponzu lime sauce, which is really outstanding. So we, we mixed the, the ponzu with some honey, some brown sugar, some rosemary, some thyme, make a nice little vinaigrette pour it over and throw it on a grill pan or you can throw it in the oven whichever you like but it's an outstanding outstanding very simple recipe that reflects the traditional comfort food with a little bit of a twist and then pork loin uh, they, they you know they had a promotion there and I, I like to look at the calories and all these kinds of things they call it the other white meat yes um, <laughs> and especially a pork loin right because that's a uh, very, uh, very nice and lean, lean. Very lean. Meat. yeah nice and lean Nice and lean, which is a very healthy thing. So you put something kikum in it uh, over that as well. Well, actually, well, it's, it's a, a panzu sauce. Panzu is soy sauce with a twist of lime. We also have a lemon one, but the lime one works really well. We add a little orange juice. You had brown sugar in there. Yeah, brown sugar, honey, rosemary, thyme, little paprika, and of course the the, the panzu lime is actually the 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 main ingredient, if you would, and just mix it all, kick it up a little bit pour it right over the pork and let it marinate a little bit and do what you got to do with it. And you okay. notice that there's no salt in there, so we took out the salt and we added some more flavor. Uh, Chef Helen, uh, tell us about, I mean, soy sauce. I mean, soy, you know, has become a very popular and more uh, uh, understood uh, uh, commodity. Well, one right, of the over things the that years. people don't understand is that soy sauce actually has less sodium than salt. So you take out that salt Add some soy sauce or like a ponzu in there, and you're going to get that maximum flavor from the umami of the soy sauce, and you're not missing out on any of the flavor expectations that you have. And it's a soy extract, right? Is that, is a, that correct? It's actually soy sauce, and then there's soy, lime juice added in there. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Mm -hmm. All right, and the soy bean has uh, become a popular bean, no doubt about that. <laughs> so what else we have? Oh, my God. You can't have comfort food without macaroni and cheese. <laughs> So I took it to a new level. I took out the dairy milk. If you're lactose intolerant, forget about it. Added soy milk in there. And the nice twist is I put some panko breadcrumbs in there. You sprinkle it right over the top. So you got your creamy mac and cheese and add a nice crunchy finish to that. That's comfort to me. What kind of breadcrumbs? It's called panko. Panko? They're, they're actually made with fresh bread. And it's made uh, just for baking, I can, and it doesn't have any taste, so you can use this on macaroni and cheese. I've had it on French toast. It's a wonderful thing. All right, I got to try that one. That's a new one on me. Oh, my gosh. It's the crunchiest French toast you ever had. Uh, what's that Chef Garvin doing right now? I'm just hanging out, baby. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just waiting on questions. You know, I'm just, I'm just staying in my lane. <laughs> That's what well, I do. <laughs> well, you know, someone's got to cook and someone's got to eat. Yeah, man. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm used to, you know, just hanging out until I'm called upon. But, you know, we got the great sides. We got the, 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 fr the green beans are interesting because instead of boiling them, you know, the way we traditionally do, we, we bake them off. Chef Helen takes them and she mixes them with some red bell pepper hoisin sauce, which is another great Kikoman product. Put them in the oven, just let them bake. So if you got to run around the house and get some homework done or do some laundry, 
put the beans in the oven with the bell peppers. Once they come out, they're baked nice and crispy. Hit them with some sesame seeds so you're still getting that comfort food with a little bit of an Asian twist with that great Kiko Man product. <laughs> hoisan sauce is one of the tastiest sauces uh, uh, in all times, isn't it? I love hoisan it's sauce. Actually, most Absolutely. people, they, they're used to it from Peking duck, but we've taken it, and you can use it for so many things. Get it out of that cabinet and use it. Yeah, can, yeah, I, yeah. can I throw one of my quick recipes in there just for half a second? What yeah, do you have? What because do you got? it's got kikam in it, it's got soy sauce in it, okay? okay? And I had it in the Channel 13 cookbook when I used to work over there in tuna fish. I put a little of the soy sauce in the tuna fish. I couldn't oh. call it contagious tuna fish. And I, I think it's a good flavoring. Oh, I think, you, think? Up, huh? I think you got a little secret going on there. Uh, I'm okay. sharing it. I'm sharing it. Thank you. I'm sharing, it. Thank you. I'm okay. sharing it. What else you got over there? Peace cobbler. Peace cobbler. Listen, you know, it, it, it's when you think of comfort food, there's so many things that you can think of. And, and the tradition, which is a great tradition, sit around the dinner table, you bust into the mac and cheese with the panko breadcrumbs, you do the grilled pork loin, you got the baked green beans with the hoisin sauce, you've done what you need to do with the family. Now, get outside, hit the porch, take a walk, get that peach cobbler, whether fresh peaches or canned peaches, and do what you gotta do. It's all about individual time with the peach cobbler. <laughs> <laughs> what you laughing at, man? I love it. I love it. Uh, you know how to live. Yes, sir. That's it. It's the key. And then you have the family and the friends, and uh, Absolutely. that's all part of the whole thing, too, isn't it? It really is. It's very important. And you're sitting around with a nice warm cup of hot chocolate. Yeah, yeah. But I made this a little healthy, too. I'm using soy milk, and I like to add a little twist of uh, cinnamon in there with the hot chocolate. So I use regular soy milk, add some cocoa and cinnamon. It's a nice twist. Yes, sir. I'm partying with you guys. You know what you're doing. Last quick question, because I know you got a lot of interviews. What's good news for each one of you guys? What's the what? Good news. What's good news for you? Chef Helen? Personally. Oh, the good news is that people are learning how to cook a lot more creatively, and they're also learning how to make it a little healthy. You can eat healthy, and you can eat good at the same time. Okay. You Jeff know, G. good news for me, man. I'm still blessed. I still love what I do. Uh, my foundation is doing great work with the kids, you know, teaching kids that there are other opportunities besides football, baseball, basketball, or rap music. The culinary field has been great to me, and I'm still blessed in a way that I can give back through my foundation. And I get to work with great people like Helen Robertson, Kiko, so it's all love for me. All right, that's beautiful. I thank you both for sharing the good news. Look forward to speaking with you again and meeting you both. For thank sure. You Make Paul. sure you check out KikoManUSA.com for all of these great recipes, all right? Done deal. All Bye right, man. thanks so much. Thank you, Paul. Thank you both. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.